Thank you very much, Adam. Now, we've already heard that um, from several of the speakers that climate change is a problem and we've got to solve this challenge really quickly. But one of the questions that people have is, you know, how much and how, how fast do we have to solve this problem? Uh, so I'm going to, in three minutes, and I've probably used up about 40, 40 seconds, I think. Uh, let me think about that. Um, using 10 numbers and a loaf of bread. All right? Um, but I'm going to introduce these numbers and I need the audience. It's audience participation. It's very important. So I've got the first three numbers here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, good. All right. So to some people, those numbers will make sense. Do they make sense to anyone? No. 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 Okay. I overestimated your skill. <laughs> so 375,000 square kilometres of coral reef, right? Yep. Very important. Over a million species. Some people think there might even be 9 million species on reef. And one in every four fish lives on a coral reef. And of course, what's that last number? People and... Yeah. This is the number of people that depend on coral reefs almost directly, and it's, it's likely to be larger. OK, so we've got those three numbers. Let's do another couple of numbers. And I'm doing this because um, Adam actually is a mathematician by training, so he'll, he'll see this in a very favourable light. <laughs> so we've got 1, 50 and 0. Well, the first one is what? One. It's 1. It is 1. <laughs> it's yun. Uno. Um, and I'll stop there. Um, <laughs> But that's actually the amount of um, the temperature increase above the pre-industrial period that the Earth has undergone. The next number is a really depressing number. That's 50% of coral reefs already disappeared. And that, again, is probably an underestimate. That's from a combined set of insults, including the climate. And of course, zero stands for the fact that if we don't deal with climate change, we will have zero coral reefs, or anything we would pretend to call a coral reef. So, OK, that's pretty, that's like we, they're worth saving, we're not saving them. Uh, so what about this number, 1.5? Well, that's where science has landed recently to say, actually, we can't do more than about 1.5 degrees above the pre-industrial period, which means that we can only go through another half a degree. And as was pointed out earlier today by some of the scientists, actually, the amount of stuff that's happened in the first one degree has been enormous, and it's, and it's likely to be non-linear. So this is the limit. But how useful is that? Does that tell you anything? OK, so I'm going to get the bread loaf out. Here we go. And I've got Nemo too, that's obvious. <laughs> so how long have we got? So this loaf is the amount of CO2 left to burn if we burn all of the fossil fuels, right? It's an approximate number, because we don't quite know the entire set. So if we burnt um, all of that, of course, we'd be in big trouble. But how, many, how much of that loaf should we burn? Well, it turns out that we've got 500 gigatons of CO2 left. So it's about one slice of this loaf. But if we go beyond that, we're in deep trouble. All right, so there we have it. So we, the, the message here is, and this is so you can, you know, you, this is sort of like a mnemonic almost. You can only have one slice. And because you burn it at about 40 gigatons per year, you, can, you have to do this over 20 years. And if you do all of that, Nemo survives. All right? So it's a pretty good deal, really. So how do we know this is going to work? And this is very exciting to see a sheep in this talk. <laughs> but the... I should stop there, shouldn't I? This is the University of Queensland 3.75 gigawatt array. And it's a huge solar facility. And you go, well, that's really expensive to, to build and so on. But the magic number here, five, is the payoff time on solar facilities today, and it's dropping. So we have the pathway to do this and do it quickly and help Nemo survive. And even if you don't take that economic argument, let's not forget how beautiful these places are. You can't really put a price on this. Thank you. <laughs>